Hey, hey, welcome guys back to the Musings of Maverick channel. I'm Red House Maverick, and today we are going to be watching Carol and Tuesday episode 4. So, last episode was an ill fated attempt by the girls, as well as their new manager Gus, uh, uh, to try and latch on to some big name DJ, big name producer, and get their name out there, right? Um, it was. I wouldn't say it's a bad idea, but it's definitely not the best. Uh, way to go through considering their circumstances and what they're actually talented at, right? Which is writing heartfelt songs um, that they make themselves. Uh, so, you know, for me, I was more expecting them to do something like, you know, street performances or maybe live house performances or whatnot. Uh, and besides, like I said, uh, they've already had their first step into the door of fame with their music well their music going viral so they can leverage that and try to do something with it right so they should work on that and gus should also start earning his keep although it remains to be seen whether they are paying him anything or not they haven't really they didn't really hammer out the details or at least we didn't see it on screen anyways so that's that uh in other news Actually, Carol on Tuesday is getting a manga serialization, so I believe the serialization has already started. I saw a few, um, a few pages of it. Eh, seems, fair. I mean, if you like to read things in manga form, there's that. Um, so if you do like the series, well, feel free to go check it out. Since it is being serialized, eventually there's probably going to be single volumes of it coming out, and then everybody can see as well, even if you're not in Japan. So, with that in mind, let's just get into the episode. And let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Yeah, yeah, 7 minutes. <laughs> Is it just me, or is there actually a little bit more scenes in this one? Ah. Alright, never mind. Let me skip this real quick. Oh, I think I said last episode that I would skip this entire opening. Oh well. See you guys in a second. And we're back. Oh. That was such a random scene. Video killed the radio star. Ah, the Buggles. Video killed the radio star. I actually learned of that from GTA Vice City. Oh wait, what? Music video? Oh wait, they're gonna make a music video? <laughs> One star review. Uh, somehow I think... This is... Not going to go good. Oh? Oh, it's here? Oh, never mind. Now it's here? Okay. <laughs> A funny thing that they're using, whoa, drones to deliver this. Amazon is actually has actually patented patent a idea of this using drones to deliver packages from an aircraft carrier, an aircraft blimp. Michael Jackson. 
What? <laughs> what is with the six or so people? This robot is going to put everything together, isn't it? Yep. Oh. 120 dancers. A convertible gigantic robot. Veer? Good question. <laughs> you? <laughs> I think this character is here to stay. Wait, they're actually gonna go through with this? Um... Cola. Well, he did say he won't drink anymore. Oh? Isn't this done by machines now? <laughs> well, it's still a human bartender. Ex-wife? Lazy sandwich? These two? Hmm. Some character development. <laughs> but where are you going to get 120 people? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys. As a manager, you're supposed to put things into perspective. Oh, these two are gonna go at each other?
Oh, who's the one dancer? Robbie? Do they enlarge or something? Or force perspective? Force perspective. This is gonna go badly. This guy again? Then <laughs> 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 why did you recommend them? Why? They are so gonna wreck the car. Oh, so because they're making a music video. Video killed the radio star, right? Again, I don't think this is gonna go over well. Okay. But where's the one other 119? Or maybe just use After Effects? <laughs> Man, this guy is really lazing around. He's gonna show up to work drunk, isn't he? Like seriously though, they put in a lot of effort into this one. Now I kind of don't want it to suck. But I got this very bad feeling deep within me. <laughs> and I love how they're all basically freeloading over at Carol's. Woohoo! So where's the one other 119 people? Oh yeah, have they actually... I wouldn't get my hopes up. Can't you just like control paste? Copy paste? There is absolutely no need for him to dance 120 times.
the day. Mm. Yeah, they probably broke the window on the car. <laughs> That's direct. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Come on, manager son. Wait. Whoa. What exactly is the theme of this music video? <laughs> yeah, this is probably not, oh, not gonna go well. <laughs> uh, it's probably gonna be a masterpiece, but... In a different kind of way. Uh Hoot. Hoot. <laughs> uh. What's your problem? Wait, what is... what's the big deal? Yes, and right. That's nice. You see? Mm. All right, let's see how this actually goes. Oh. 
What? <laughs> All right, I should probably mute the music. You know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. Is that like an Iron Man or Spider Man reference? What the heck? You know, and it's all kind of way. It's. Oh, wait, that's what happened to the car? <laughs> what were you expecting to happen? Oh, come on, you should release it. It's funny. <laughs> Aww. And that's. There's the car. <laughs> uh. All right, and I don't think there's any more, so that's that. I'll see you guys after the ending. Alrighty, so that was episode four. A fun little episode, I guess, although it didn't really go anywhere in terms of advancing the plot, but eh, it was funny, it was enjoyable, I had fun with it, okay? And there's a lot of little easter eggs or little references in there as well, which um, I don't even think I got all of them, but I will mention a few that I did notice. So in regards to the music video, each of them were saying different elements, right? Both Carol Tuesday as well as Roddy and Gus, they each put some of their own uh, stuff into it. Um, some were more obvious references, for instance, Zombies Dancing and whatnot, uh, that's obviously Michael Jackson's Thriller, um, the part where Roddy said that, you know, go into a mirror and then everything turns into animation, which we also see later on within the actual music video, that is probably a reference to AHA's Take On Me. Um, in terms of Carol's uh, ideas, of uh, sorry, not Carol's idea, Tuesday's ideas about being a diva and whatnot. I'm assuming that's referring to Madonna, um, Material Girl. Uh, they're all within the same, you know, sort of 80s uh, time period. So I think that is generally what is going on there. Now for Gus, I'm not quite sure um, what he is talking about. I know that it's he's talking about parodies of Super Sentai's um, or Power Rangers as it's known in the West. But I'm not sure what specific uh, thing he's mentioning. Um, Super Sentai's or Power Rangers have been parodied numerous times over the years by lots of different artists. Uh, the most recent one, to my memory, would probably be the uh, Zombieland Saga's opening, right? Where Franchushu were cosplaying as um, Super Sentai, and then, you know, that's that. With, uh, part of the opening, right? So I'm not quite sure which specific thing that that's referring to, but it's obviously a Super Sentai reference. Um, so that was that. Uh, kind of fun overall. I do like that we got a little bit more into the backstory of Gus. You know, we showed his ex-wife, Mary. Uh, we showed his current relationship status. We showed how Gus originally was, as well as some more of his character, right? So this is not actually a guy who... Um, you know, was lucky to hit it big once and now is trying to gain back his uh, former glory when he doesn't really know how to do things, right? By all means, it seems that he actually has a real passion for both music and developing talent. It's just that apparently his method of working doesn't really meet eye to eye with people within the industry, right? Um, so that could be something 
to keep an eye out for uh, looking forward. Although, I think with Carol and Tuesday, they probably appreciate a manager with this kind of character as well. But it will be harder for them to actually make it in the industry. They might have to make it themselves, right? Um, so yeah, that was Gus and Mary's part. And also, I gotta say, poor Roddy. Like, they're basically all, you know, cashing in on his relationship with Edigan. Edigan, you know, the rich producer guy. And by the way, I, I just like to point out how both of them are real, being real bros about the whole thing, right? So Roddy, really, you know, why does he have to help these two, right? They have no relationship. He's not receiving any money or any credit for this work, but he's still going around and thinking of his own personal connections, how he can use them to help these girls. Maybe there's going to be romance. He seems to take a liking to them. Maybe. And, you know, even Edigan, right? Um, even though he's this rich, cocky bastard, um, but of course super talented, but still, like, how, how many people can just say, all right, fine, Roddy, you want to borrow my car? Sure, here you go. This is my ultra uber new sports car, right? That that car should have been worth a fortune. And he's still friends with him even after all that? Boy. Um, where can you get friends like that, right? So, yeah, that's that. And um, I think probably the biggest plot hole, I would say, of this whole episode was they saw right there that this product had only one star with how many was it over 2,000 reviews like how's that realistic at all who would go out and buy something that's been clearly rated as one star right um i think it would have made much more sense if those were fake reviews right to reflect actual real life uh maybe those were bot reviews fake reviews so it was all five stars and then after the scam broke out then everybody rates it once then they go back open the page up again and it's all rated one star right i feel like that would make much more logical progression than what was shown here um but anyways minor nitpick minor nitpick and um you know the episode as whole I don't know, we didn't really get any new music, we didn't really advance the plot beyond uh, learning a little bit more about Gus, which I do appreciate, by the way. So, it's it's a pretty meh episode for me. And, you know, more importantly, why would they want to make a music video right now? You know, it's not like making a music video is guaranteed to give you any views, uh, especially if you don't have any anything uh, spectacular or special about it right? It, by all means, you could have done the same thing just by recording yourselves with a fixed camera uh, playing and singing, right? That probably would have been better. And you know, I put this responsibility on Gus, because he is their manager. He's supposed to bring them d back down to earth uh, when they get ideas that are too unrealistic uh, for what they are doing, or what, um, what position they are in right now. So, he should have been the one to put the brakes on this whole operation, not go along with the ride, right? Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, hopefully they can, you know, actually start getting serious about this um, and try to do it, you know, the, the hard way, but the, well, how should I say it? The correct way, if you will, instead of trying to find some kind of shortcut. But, um, but even even with that said, overall, that music video, uh, it had it has potential, doesn't it? Uh, I especially like the scene where you know there was all these uh, mo copies of Roddy and then Carol and Tuesday dancing together with in a synchronized dance. I think that was like literally the second to last scene within that uh, music video. I thought that looked pretty cool actually, and. You know, it, it does have an avant-garde kind of feel to it. You know, very, very new age, very artsy, artistic style. Maybe they can hit it big in the indie market. I don't know. But that probably, you know, since they already went through the trouble of making it, they could have released that. I could see a real-life example of something similar to that uh, catching on just because of how ridiculous it is. So, yeah. I think they didn't really make it crappy enough. They should have. They could have made it even even crappier. Instead, it turned out to be something that's actually fairly enjoyable. 
So, I think that about covers it for my review of this episode. Like I said, there's not really much else in terms of the plot or in terms of music. Um, you know, episode title, Video Killed Radio Star. I guess it's just um, a very direct interpretation. It, it's not something, anything to do with either the story of the artist or the actual lyrics of the, um, of the song, right? It's just the title, right? Video Killed the Radio Star. They make a video, something like that. Um, so, yeah. I know, I do believe Video Kills a Radio Star also is talking about, um, like, the past and how you can't bring back the past. Uh, so maybe it also has some kind of correlation with Gus and Mary, right? So, uh, yeah, by the way, yeah, sure, lesbian couple, it is what it is. I don't really care, to be honest, <laughs> whether it, it exists or not. If it asks the story, great. If it doesn't, well, why is it in there, right? Uh, but, you know, uh, I, I don't have an opinion either way. Um, although I do see that, I do think that in this case, it's a nice setup to, you know, close out the story between Gus and Mary. Um, and it's nice that they left on good terms as well. So, uh, with that said, yeah, that has really been episode four of Carol on Tuesday. This is Maverick from Music of Maverick, and I'll see you guys next week at the same time. So until then, bye-bye.